Hi. In the last lecture, we have plotted the output of second order system for different values of zeta. For under damped case, undamped case, critically damped case, and over damped case. Now, in this lecture, we will concentrate on second order system the two under damped case which is the practical case so for under damped system with step input the output c of t is nothing but 1 minus e power minus zeta omega nt y square root of 1 minus zeta square into sin omega dt plus phi. This is what we have seen. So the characteristic is if this is this dashed curve is unit step input then the output will be like this. So this is C of t. We define some time domain specifications for this underdamped case. First one is trace time. It is defined as time taken by the output to reach the steady state value for the first time. That means in this case the steady state value is 1 because the applied input is unit step. Correct? So here for the first time this is the point or this is the time at which the output C of t is crossing the steady state value. So we define this time as raise time. Raise time is defined as the time taken by the output to reach the steady state value for the first time. Okay, so this is raise time. So raise time is given as pi minus phi by omega d. We know that omega d is nothing but omega n into 1 minus theta square and the phi is tan inverse of square root of 1 minus zeta square by zeta. Okay, this is the first specification. Second one is peak time. Peak time is defined as the time taken by the output of the system to reach its maximum value. In this CFT plot, the maximum value is here. This is the maximum value. So, this is the time we call it as peak time, TP. Peak time is the time taken by C of t to reach its maximum value. So, Tp is given by pi by omega d. Okay. Next specification is peak overshoot. Peak overshoot. I redraw the C of T characteristic. This dashed line is your input, unit step input. This one is your output. Now this peak overshoot is nothing but this one. This is peak overshoot MP. 
So P portion is different as the maximum deviation of output from its steady state value. In this particular example, its a steady state value is 1. So how far or by how much it is deviating from the steady state value? So P power sheet is nothing but the maximum deviation of output from steady state value. Okay. So generally we measure in percentage. So percentage of peak overshoot is given by e power minus zeta pi by square root of 1 minus zeta square into 100. Okay. This is the peak overshoot. Remember that we are measuring the peak overshoot from the steady state value, not from 0. Next. Fourth specification, time domain specification is settling time. Settling time, TS. Okay. So here, this is oscillatory. So this oscillations, these oscillations will die after a long time. So, if the, if we look for the time, after how much time this is settling to steady state value, the answer will be say infinity, because it never reaches the steady state. These are all practical systems, right? So, we define settling time as the time taken by the output to reach and settle within say plus or minus 2% of steady state value. For example, if steady state value is 1, okay, so the output should oscillate between 0.98 to say 1.02 because we are saying plus or 2% of steady state value. So this settling time in this particular case is ts equal to 4 by zeta omega n so for underdamped system with step input we are defining four times time specific time domain specifications rise time peak time peak overshoot and settling time thank you